Hello, I am Aaron Bradley. I teach at Brian Evan Primary School. This is a school in Bryanston, a suburb of Johannesburg, South Africa. Brian Evan Primary School has introduced Purple Mash as an initiative to promote coding for young children. So these videos also provide a resource to build upon, if not on a more expansive basis for other schools. Grade fives, if you look at the best way to active, get into your activities is the to-do. Don't go to the alerts. So Liam, go to the to-do section. You'll see that we have this to-do turtle. So click on start. And you'll see that if you go into the first challenge, it'll help you to build up enough knowledge to do the last challenge, which is make your own. Liam's got here, it says, challenge, can you move the turtle forward? Does that read five steps? When you look at this one, forward, go ahead, forward, five steps. Now, before you move on to playing the code, I wanted to say something about this. If you look at this, this is the on start event. Don't play it yet. When Liam presses that button over there, it is an event, but it's an event that you don't fill in. It happens automatically. So when Liam presses the on start event, the turtle then moves five steps. Okay, so automatically, look, Liam didn't click or do anything. It's just an automatic event. That's an event that takes place that you don't declare. Declare means you actually bring in a bit of code showing the event. What color are events? They are usually green, a greenish color. Go ahead, Liam. Let's go to the next challenge. And it says you've got three things to do. Move the turtle forward. Turn clockwise one quarter turn. Then turn, uh, move forward three. So you've got three things. So that's the first thing. Move forward. Good. And then you're bringing in the second thing he had to do was turn clockwise. He knows clockwise. Good. And it's one quarter turn. Liam, you seem to know your work quite well. You're just like so confident. The third block of code coming in now is move forward th three. If you look at that, those are the three steps. And again, when Liam presses the play button, the on start event will take place. An undeclared event. In other words, you don't use any blocks of code for it. In most cases, you'd have a green event with a block and then all the pieces of the blue objects, turtle, aeroplane would move within it. So Liam, go on to the play event. Right, so it's straight away it's starting to play and it's doing everything and that's working beautifully. And guys, at the bottom over here, this is where you would check for mistakes. Okay, now you can see for the first time, look, it says when click so that's an event look at the color what color is it green and that's showing it's an event and the turtle is the object that's going to move or do something with the event like we did the other objects airplane turtle uh, there was a snail race and all the racing cars as well can you make the turtle turn when it is clicked so when the turtle is clicked so we're going with a when click event and when turtle clicked block so we can have a when turtle clicked block bring it in liam go ahead i know you know your code quite well so and look at this this is the when click turtle block so there has to be something that happens within the block so there's something has to fit into that space before you go on liam if, just sorry to interrupt you but if i play this code liam play it it becomes insignificant because look when clicked turtle, nothing happens. So why would one make an event that where nothing happens? Then you wouldn't use it. So it would be pointless to have a when clicked turtle and nothing happens. So it's just, it's like just doing nothing. All right, let's go back to the code, Liam. And you can go ahead with moving your turtle into it. And the turtle will then do what was, yes, good. You're shooting through the challenges. And every single challenge, guys, in Purple Mash, as you build knowledge, Liam, you can go ahead, as you build knowledge, every step of the way, you find that building towards previous bit of knowledge helps you to do the next activity. Brilliant, Liam. He can go on to the next challenge, and everything he's done has now helped him to move on. Now, you can see this is even more complicated. 
if you guys notice that as you move in the various challenge, it gets more and more complicated. Make the turtle controllable using the arrow keys on your keyboard. So the arrow keys. So you can bring in, we've got up, down, left and right arrows. So bring in all the arrows, Liam. So bring in another one. Bring in the next one. Up, bring in the next arrow key. So drag this one there. This one, Liam, look at this one. Just drag that one. So you've got the right arrow. And now you can bring in another arrow key. Just choose a different one. Good. And then drag another one until you've got all four of the arrow keys dragged in there. And that's quite clever because Liam's just kind of laying out the different arrow keys first before he fits in the little bits, of nitty gritty bits of code in those blocks. So now you're going to make them move. Make your turtle move accordingly. Brilliant. Forward. Are you going to make it go forward because it's like the right arrow key? Think of what would be most appropriate in that case. Very good choice. And then the turtle. So he's got the event is the green is the event. The when key down arrow key. Then the turtle is going to be moving backwards. Okay, that's a good one. We got the left arrow key, the left arrow key event. So when pressing the left arrow key on your keyboard, then it's going to be turning in an anti-clockwise direction. Good work, Liam. And then you've got the, the, that one's the up arrow key going forward. So those all seem to be like really sensible. Uh, you can go ahead and play it. Okay. And now the next one is the one where I'm going to show you stepping through code. Rachel probably knows it. So we'll go to that. Okay, Liam, you might also know it, just seeing the way you're going through this so easily. When you stop here, I wanted to just show you something. Press this pause button. Just that pause button over there. Look where I'm pointing at the pause button. The two, yeah, the pause button. When Liam presses the restart button over there, then you find that the break point is set. Look at this. This little flashing orange color. Or this little flashing light at the top is showing that there's a break point. We have stopped the code on the first block. Now, why have we stopped the code on the first block? We don't want to test everything. We just want to test the first block if it's right. So now watch. He's going to press on the stepping button. Look, Liam, where I'm showing you the stepping button to step to the next line. It reads the first block. Now Liam's got on this. It's, it's breaking. It's put a break on the, ste the second block. Now, Liam wants to see what the second block's line is going to read. Step through the second block, and look, you see it's short. It still needs to go one step down. We know that our error is on block two. So, Liam's going to now make changes to block two to get it right. Excellent. So, he's changed it. Now, you can step through the code again. Good. You're reading line block one. Now, block two. And this is really important, guys. Sometimes they've got to find the mistakes. And step through line three or block three. Stepping through the code. And look, it's turning. So that's right. And now let's go to the last block. Step into last block. And you can see it moves past the broccoli. So we need to make it land on the broccoli. So we know there's an error in block four. We have found we've debugged our code. Now, when you fix block four, you can now play all your code. You don't have to step through it all the way. You can just press the play button. Good. I can see you're already there. So watch. He's going through like, all the lines without having to step through it. Brilliant. And that shows you you've got it perfect. And now you go on to the activity where you make your own program. Congratulations to you. I was quite impressed. Give him a hand, guys. <laughs> Liam, brilliant work.